All right, welcome stemmers to section 4.7. We're still in the polynomial unit because this unit goes forever. We are on the seventh section and it's about transformation. So here's what you need to know about transforming polynomials. They work basically the same way you transform anything else. So what you're going to see here is a lesson with a ton of review from what we did in old units. There will just be a few times where we have to make a few adjustments because, um, because it's a polynomial. But there's not going to be too many. So get into your um, student journal. Go to page 106. And we're going to work through some lessons. I have a belief that I can do all of the notes in under 20 minutes with one video. And that is my goal. Um, and I'll call that a win if we can do it. So here we go. Transforming things. All right. So this is the parent function of a cubic. And if we were to create the, like, what would be the rule for this? Uh, let's think about that. So f of x equals x to the third was the original. So f of x equals. So how is this different than that? Well, we moved it 1, 2 to the right. So we did a shift 2 to the right, and that was, that's the only difference I see. So how do we do that? So instead of at, uh, let's see, so it's to the third power. Remember back from old units, anytime you're affecting something in any kind of horizontal way, it happens in the parentheses. And when things happen in the parentheses, they typically do the opposite of what you'd expect. So if this is moving to the right two, we're actually going to go minus two. Hopefully that rings a bell and makes you think about stuff we've done this year already. All right, let's take a look at this one. So this time, the function, it used to look like this. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell what happened here because the original looked like this. And as far as I could tell, there's two possibilities. Maybe there was a, certainly a reflection. Maybe it was a horizontal reflection. So like this point moved over here. And you could see that then this point here would move over there. But I wonder if it was actually a vertical reflection. For example, maybe this point actually went down there. And maybe this one went up here. Um, Moral of the story is, we don't really know which one it is, but they both do the same thing, don't they? So uh, let's say that it was equal to negative x to the third, and that would represent it's outside of the x, so that would be a, a vertical one. But what if it was a horizontal? What if it actually moved this way? Then we would have written it as f of x equals, and then we would have put the negative inside to the third. But class, what's a negative times a negative times a negative? Your answer should be a negative. So if that was the case, would you agree that we could rewrite this by just making it negative x to the third, because a negative times a negative times a negative is a negative, uh, which means that whether you do it as a vertical reflection or a horizontal reflection, they both still end up looking like this in the end. Uh, that is why you can flip it this way or this way, and either way it looks exactly the same. So it was a reflection, not sure which one, but either way it's going to end up looking like that. All right, part C. This looks exactly like the original, except it looks like it got moved up to. So let's see if we remember how to vertically translate. Vertical is a y thing, and y things happen outside of the parentheses. So we'd have x to the third, and if it's going up to, we'd go plus 2. And if you remember what we did a few units ago, that should not surprise you. Let's move on to part D. So here it looks like, okay, it looks like it got moved backwards two and then down one. So it looked like the cool point was right here and now the cool point's at like negative two, negative one. All right, so it got shifted left to down one. So f of x equals the left thing. If it's a left and right thing, it happens inside the parentheses and things that happen inside do the opposite. So if we went left two, if we went backwards two, we'd actually write x plus two. And then for the vert, oh, this was to the third power. And if it's a vertical thing that takes place outside of the parentheses, so that minus one will go right here. And we have just written the equations for all these transformations. What was new here? 
nothing. We did all this stuff a couple chapters ago. The only difference is we're doing it to um, cubic and quartic polynomials now. All right, so this one now starts out as an x to the fourth. Um, and, and so we're going to do the same thing. So how did, what change happened here uh, from the original? Well, it looks like it moved to the right two and down two. So this, this the, the point used to be at zero, zero. Now it's at two, negative two. So we had a, so we got well, f of x equals, the horizontal move was to the right two. Horizontal takes place in the parentheses, and it does the opposite of what we'd expect. So if it's positive two, it'd actually be a minus two. And then this is now to the fourth power, and we went down two, so it's gonna be minus two. Good job, us. All right, it looks like this one moved, well, it looks like three things happened. First of all, it got flipped, but it looked like it got flipped vertically, right? like this, right? So it was a vertical flip, uh, and then it got moved to the right two and up two. So this is now at two, two, but it also flipped. So f of x equals so if it went to the right two, it would be x minus two, it's to the fourth. And if it went down, uh, no, it didn't go down two, it went up two, so plus two. Now, this had a vertical flip. Vertical things happen outside of parentheses, and a flip means we put a negative in there. So the negative will go outside of the parentheses. And we're doing really good. Uh, so that is our next exploration. And we're good there. I also wanted to do number three. How can you transform the graph of a polynomial function? Basically the stuff we've just been doing. I just think it'd be uh, good to write down that it's basically the same way. that we've been transforming everything this year. So basically the same way um, we've been doing it all year. And I think it's important to write that down and note that. So the rules just transfer over to um, polynomials just fine. All right, so let's do some more examples so we can get some extra practice, and hopefully in about 10 minutes, uh, you'll be off to doing your homework. Um, I circled some that I thought would be nice to do. Uh, I also used my ruler to make a X and Y axis here. You might try to do the same thing right now uh, so that your graphs look a little nicer. And let's see if we can do this. Describe the transformation of F represented by G. So the original was X, to the fifth. So that's going to be odd. So it's going to go like this. So this one is x to the fifth. Now, what would happen if we did this to it? Hopefully you can agree this is exactly the same thing except it moved it. Plus one would mean it moved it to the left. 1, and then this means it went up 2. So describe the transformation, left 1, up 2. Those are the differences. And then, then they want us to graph it. So I'm going to go left 1 and up 2, and then I'm going to make it look oops, exactly the same. There. We described it and we graphed the difference. All right, let's do this one. All right, so this is x to the sixth, so that's an even degree. So remember the evens either go like this or like that, and then the odds are the ones that do the like, woo thing. So this one's gonna make either a U or an upside down U. Uh, because it's positive, it'll be going up. So x to the sixth is gonna look something like that. You could put it, into, oops, put it into your graphing calculator to verify, but that's what you would see. 
All right, so that is the original. Now for the transformation, where it looks like we're doing this and we're doing this, and we're, there's three things, this, this, and this. So what is going on here? It got moved to the right too. It had a vertical flip, vertical flip. Although actually the way we used to say that earlier in this year is we, we would say that that was a reflection, reflect. If it's a vertical flip, it's flipping over this axis, reflect over the X axis. So this would be like the super official way of saying it. This is kind of how I think about it. So we'll go with the super official way. And then finally, it had a vertical stretch of five. Vertical stretch of five. So it's five times more long. Okay, so we're gonna move it to the right two. One, two. We're going to reflect it, so it's going to be going down instead of up. And it's going to be a vertical stretch of five, so instead of going over one, down one, we'll go over one, down one, two, three, four. We're actually going to go down to here. Probably shouldn't have drawn those dots. Oh, well. There we go. We graphed it. We... Describe the transformation. One, two, three things happened there. All right, let's go on to number four. The original is x to the third, so I'll draw x to the third right now. Again, if it's not that easy for you to visualize this yet, you can just put it into your graphing calculator. All right, so what happened here? So we moved it down four. And is that showing up on? Yep, it is. Down Four. And what else happened? Uh, this happened. Okay, so this is inside parentheses, so it's a horizontal thing. And so this is a stretch or shrink since it's being multiplied. And things that happen in the parentheses always do the opposite of what we'd think. So it's actually getting stretched two times. So it's a horizontal stretch. by two, so it's gonna get twice as stretched out. Okay, so let's do that. So if we make it go down four, instead of starting here, it would go down one, two, three, four. Now, normally you would go over one, up one, but since it's getting horizontally stretched, I'm gonna go over two, up one, to get those next points, and I'll go backwards two, down one. So it'll look like that. Good job, us. All right, let's do number five and then say, no, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so for number five, we've got x to the fourth. So I'll graph that one first. Fourth means it's even, so they're either going to go like this or this. Since it's positive, it's going to go up. So we'll do that. And, okay, so what has happened here? Uh, two things. One, there was a horizontal flip. So because the flip is in here, it's a horizontal flip. Um, but when you... Um, when you... Um, Negative to the fourth, what's a negative times a negative times a negative times a negative? Can we agree it's a positive? So do you see how this negative is just going to go away? It's just going to cancel out. Nothing's actually going to change. So um, it's technically, it's getting reflected over the y-axis because it got reflected left and right, um, but you're not going to notice any difference uh, because, because it just cancels out. And then the second thing uh, is that it uh, has a vertical shrink of 1 8. So vertical 
shrank of one eighth. Okay, so to vertically shrink it, you see how we went over one, up one? So the vertical was one eighth. So instead of going over one, up one, we're gonna go over one, up one eighth. So this point kind of got shrunk down to there. Verti this point got vertically shrunk down eight times lower. And so our new one is going to look more like this. Oops. You get the idea. And we don't have to do anything with this because it's going to cancel out. So it'll look the same whether you do it or not. Okie dokie. We just did four more problems and learned a bit more. Let's go on to page 110 now. Let's do one, two, three, four problems, and then uh, let's, let's give the homework a try after those four. I think that would be enough to get us off to a, a good start on the homework. So graph this function on the coordinate plane as this. So they gave us this, and now they want us to transform it. So what are the transformations happening here? This is moved to the right three, and then this means a vertical flip, right? Or a reflection over the x. So reflect over the x axis. All right, so let's do it. So instead of being here, it's going to go to the right three. One, two, three. And if we reflect it over the x axis, that means instead of it going up, it's going to go down. So I'm going to basically make a copy of this, except I'm going to make it go down instead of up. It's that simple. Let's move on to number eight. So here we have an original of x to the third plus eight. So let's make these go up by twos each time. Two, four, six, eight. So our original is going to look something like this. This is to the third power. And we want to do these two things to it. So this one's pretty simple, right? We're going to move it down 9, down 9. They say to uh, describe the transformation, so we actually do have to write down 9. All right, so I'm going to make it go down 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, down 9, right there. And this says we want to give it a horizontal flip. So that's a reflection, reflect over the y-axis. That would make it move horizontally. So if this used to be going this way, it's now going to go this way. And the left side is now going to go to the right. So I'm going to make it go like this. And I got it. All right, number nine. 